Chapter 37 The Great Brightness King God Carefree Valley The crowd of cultivators escaped and ascended to heaven and were extremely grateful beyond measure to Merciful Life Bodhisattva. The Merciful Life Bodhisattva was also extremely amiable and answered the gratitude of the crowd. Many thanks, ancient Helm Master. The surrounding cultivators were grateful to the Bodhisattva of Merciful Life, and they were also grateful to Guhai. Guhai, however, smiled faintly and said, This time is also considered a shared disaster. You all are welcome. It's just that I have one thing that I want to ask you all to do as a show of hands. Gu Helmsman, you say, I can do it, will definitely do it. If it wasn't for the ancient servant and the Bodhisattva of Merciful Life this time, we would have been accounted for here. There's no need to be polite. Ancient Rudder Master, you tell me, what is it? I'll definitely do it. The crowd of cultivators immediately politely patted their chests and assured, just now, I have already said that this time, I entered the innate remnant realm in order to look for a person called Unborn. If you all stay in this realm and see this person, please be sure to help me. Notify him and say that I am waiting at the exit for the last month. If he's unwilling to come, all of you can also inform me in your last month, Gu Hai solemnly and incomparably said. The crowd was slightly stunned, not expecting Gu Hai's request to be so simple. Don't worry, ancient rudder master. I'll turn around and contact the clan, and mobilize all my brothers and sisters to help ancient rudder master keep an eye out. Don't worry, ancient rudder master. I'll immediately go and join up with my master. I'll definitely keep an eye out for you. The crowd of cultivators were amongst the assurances. Thank you all, Guhai smiled. With this, more people searched for the whereabouts of the unborn. After a good while of pleasantries, the crowd left. Although the crisis had been lifted, the crowd was still haunted by this place, fearing that the nine dukes would return again. The crowd bid farewell to Gu Hai and the Bodhisattva of Merciful Life and left. Greetings, Servant Master Meng. Gu Hai looked at Meng Tai and smiled. Meng Tai stared at Gu Hai as a complex color flashed in his eyes. Good chess power, Servant Master Gu. Helmsman Meng frowned. Luck made it happen. Rudder Master Meng is seriously injured. Do you need to travel with us as a companion? Gu Hai laughed. No need. We're all looking for the unborn. Spreading out will give us more chances instead. Ancient Helmsman, farewell. Meng Tai shook his head and refused. Good. Gu Hai nodded. Gu Hai's eyes narrowed slightly as he watched a group of Yipin Tang people leave. Helmsman, Song King Shu might have been with them earlier. Gao Xianzi frowned. I know. Gu Hai shook his head and said in a deep voice. Yes, Gao Xianzi nodded. On the side, Chen Chongqin revealed a bewildered look. What did Song King Shu mean with them? The crowd left one after another, leaving only Gu Hai's group and the Bodhisattva of Merciful Life. Mercy Life Bodhisattva, thank you for stepping in this time. Guhai said gratefully to Mercy Life Bodhisattva. The Bodhisattva of Mercy Life looked at Guhai and smiled, Servant Master Gu. Before I made my move just now, it seems like I saw you take out something from a small token space in preparation for the cloud. Beast. Infestation. Perhaps you have a way to deal with it without me having to make a move, don't you? Guhai faintly laughed bitterly for a while and said, I'll let Bodhisattva Ren Sheng laugh at you. How could I have a way? It's just a thing that can send out a small explosion, ready to throw to the place of that ninth prince. Whether it has any effect or not is still unknown. In the past, when I bombed my One Piece Hall traitor Song King Shu, he was unhindered. That ninth prince has the Cloud Beast should be more able to avoid it. Mercy Life Bodhisattva also no longer say more, but took a deep breath and said, Ancient Helmsman stay, but still concerned about that spiritual spring. Mercy Life Bodhisattva is joking. I'm just curious. Guhai smiled without retorting. There is no harm in informing you. I have previously checked clearly. There is a magic treasure left behind by the old man of chess observation below this. If you are interested, you can also try it out. With your chess power, 
You should have something to gain. Mercy Life Bodhisattva laughed. Oh, chess power. Guhai revealed a hint of curiosity. That golden chess piece in the Ninth Prince's hand earlier. You still remember it, don't you? Mercy Life Bodhisattva solemnly said. Oh, Guhai's eyes twitched. One had to know that the Ninth Prince had used a chess piece to invoke the power of heaven and earth to condense the nine-headed serpent cloud beast. Generally speaking, three months after this realm opens, golden chess pieces will surface in all directions to wait. For those who are destined to be there, and below the spirit spring is a formation that will surface three months later. However, it has already been disrupted by me, and can be obtained now. The golden chess pieces can only be used in this realm, and when this realm is closed, they will lose their effectiveness, Bodhisattva Mercy Life explained. The golden chess piece that the Ninth Prince summoned the Hydra earlier, Chen Shanshan's eyes steeply lit up. Shaoru was also amazed. Gu Hai, however, revealed a hint of doubt. Bodhisattva Renshang, I don't understand. Three months after this realm opens, golden chess pieces will surface to wait for those who are destined to be there. Wouldn't it be a chance to give more power to outsiders? Moreover, from what Meng Tai said earlier, it seems that Elder Chess explained to the disciples of the game Heaven Pavilion that they are not allowed to target the outsiders and let the outsiders toss around in this realm. This, why is Elder Guanxi doing this? What you think is good is the meaning of the old man of Guanxi. In this realm, in the past, countless treasures of the game Heaven Pavilion is also the old man of Guanxi's arrangement, left for outsiders to collect. Grandmaster Renshell explained. Oh, I don't understand. Guhai revealed a trace of bewilderment. Elder Chess viewer lost and perished back then, but in the end, he still laid out a big game. As for how it turned out, no one knows. This might be part of Elder Chess viewer's layout. You don't need to know why to be in the future. There will be a day when the water will fall out of the sky. Bodhisattva Mercy Life shook his head and said. Gu Hai frowned slightly and finally nodded. Let's go. Take you to see. Mercy Life Bodhisattva laughed. In the innate remnant realm, at the exit, three white clothed men came running in haste. That old devil, Gu Hai, killed senior uncle Song King Shu. If he knew we were Songa sect disciples, he would definitely hunt us down. Quickly, quickly go back and report to the sect master. The ancient devil blew up 40 disciples of my Song Arma sect. He's the devil. Senior brothers and sisters, they all died at the hands of the ancient devil. Go back and inform the sect master. Exterminate the entire clan of the ancient devil. The three Song Arma sect disciples fled towards the exit with hatred. Song King Shu, whom they had met earlier in the Carefree Valley, knew the cause and effect. And even though Gu Hai had saved them earlier, the three of them still hated Gu Hai with an immense hatred, and quietly left. The three rushed towards the exit. Stop. There was a sudden cold shout, and the trio jerked to a halt. However, they saw a black-robed man blocking in front of the three. His black robe wrapped around his entire body. Only where his chest was, there was a golden sun pattern, the sun's black robe wrapped around his body, looking mysterious and incomparable. Who are you? What are you doing blocking us? A Song Arma sect disciple said with a cold face. The exit has been taken over by us. From now until this realm closes, only in, not out. The sun black robed man said in a cold voice. You guys, that Song Arma sect disciple said blankly. Turning his head to look, sure enough, there were a few more sun-black-robed men in the distance, as if they were blocking the exit of this huge fog area from afar. Senior brother, don't listen to his nonsense, the rest of them are still in the distance. Let's break out, a Song Arma sect disciple said in a cold voice. Good. The three of them answered, and immediately rushed towards the exit of the fog area, ignoring this black-robed man. HMPH, the sun-black-robed man, out a cold snort. Boom. The head of the Song Arma sect disciple who rushed at the front exploded open. Ah, 
the other two screamed in shock. Without seeing the sun black robed man make a move, as if he hadn't made a move at all, a cold grunt, and the senior disciple's head exploded. Roll back, the sun black robed man said in a cold voice. You, 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 we are Song Arma sect disciples. The sect master will definitely not let you off. Another Song Arma sect disciple shouted in terror. HMPH, boom. That Song Arma sect disciple's head exploded open once again. Without any warning, it just suddenly exploded open, and the last person immediately fell to the ground in fear, in the midst of constantly retreating. Devil, devil, that person retreated backward in terror, his entire body's sweaty hairs exploding. However, that sun black robed man did not pursue, as if he did not care as long as he did not go out. In the end, that person stepped back in terror and looked in the distance. There were a total of 20 sun black robed people guarding the four directions of the fog area, only allowed to enter, not allowed to go out. Too scary, too powerful, a cold grunt, just blow up the other party's head. Isn't this the innate remnant realm? Aren't all cultivators pressed down to the innate realm? How did he do that? That Song Arma sect disciple fled in terror, but in the middle of a twist of his head, he saw that the sun black, robed man from earlier had actually knelt down on one knee. Twenty sun black robed men all knelt on one knee. What kind of people? Making this group of devils all kneel. The man said with wide-eyed horror, Kuyu. Within the fog, a group of figures slowly walked out. There were about a thousand people, all wearing sun black robes. The thirty people in the back were even carrying a ten-foot large coffin. Slowly stepping into it, more than a thousand, over a thousand devils, more than a thousand sun black robed people entered it, and the leader, holding a five colored scepter in his hand, looked up at the sky. Behind him, more than a thousand black robed men of the sun all knelt on one knee, kneeling together to this person with the scepter in his hand. Only the person carrying the coffin remained standing. The Lord is about to come out of the gate. You know the purpose of our visit, right? The sun black robed man with the scepter said indifferently. Please order the great brightness king god, the thousand or so sun black robed men respectfully said. Do your best to find the whereabouts of new Wahoo. Even if you have to tear down the Yishin pavilion, you must find it for me. Or else you will all die, the great brightness king god said in a cold voice. Yes, my subordinates will definitely do their best. The crowd of sun black robed men respectfully said, Do your best. Heh, you guys still don't get it. The Lord is going to come out of the gate. If I don't see new Wahoo, if I want to protect you all, I won't even have the qualifications to do so. No one can save you all. Only new Wahoo, the great brightness God King said in a cold voice. Yes, the crowd of sun black robed men solemnly said. The great brightness God King nodded, and turned his head to look at the Song Arma sect disciples in the distance. Although the great brightness God King was wearing a hat and covering his face, that Song Arma sect disciple still felt a pair of eyes staring at him. Those eyes were staring at him as if the heavens were looking at a mole cricket, and in that split second, it was as if the Song Arma sect disciple had been fixed, not daring to move. Under the cold sweat of his entire body, he was terrified.